Today we're going to tell you the story, Something from Nothing. This is a very old story, but the version that we used is based on the story, Something from Nothing, by Phoebe Gilman. When Joseph was a baby, his grandma made him a beautiful blanket. When he was very small, they used to wrap him in it. And he loved the feel of it around him. And as he got older and started learning how to crawl and stuff, it was his favorite thing. When he needed to cuddle, he'd wrap it around him. And when he needed to crawl around and do something, he'd just carry it with him because blanky. And as he got older, it started to become, you know, it was what he slept with, but it was also, you know, if he needed to make a little bit of a fort or something like that, or just play hide and seek, peek-a-boo. It was his blanket. But you know what? He he sucked on the edge and he rubbed it between his fingers. And about the time he was two years old, his mother took a look at him. See, she said, Joseph, look at your blanket. You've worn out all the edges and it's just looking really nasty. I think it's time to throw it out. <gasps> throw out blanket? We can't throw out gra blanket. Grandma can fix it. So he took his blanket. And he ran down the street to Grandma's house. He says, Grandma, fix my blankie. Well, his Grandma put on her glasses. She picked up the blankie. And she turned it this way and that way. Hmm, she said. Hmm. And then she took her scissors and went snip, snip, snip. And her needle went in and out and in and out. And she sewed Joseph a really beautiful little jacket. Well, it was just his size. He loved it. And he loved that part that was his blankie in disguise. Because when he wore it, he always felt brave and strong. So he, he wore it every day to everything that he did. And as he got old enough to go to school, he put it on the first day and he went in. He was brave and strong. And he loved his blankie. And of course, he rubbed the edges because that's what you do when it's your blankie. Uh, but after a while, his mother says, Joseph, have you looked at that coat? She says, you're growing out of it, you know. It's too small. It's starting to get come apart at the edges because you're too big for it. And I think it's time to throw it out. <gasps> throw out my coat? We can't do that. Grandma can fix it. So Joseph took his coat and he ran down the street to Grandma's house. He says, Grandma, can you fix my coat? Hmm, said Grandma. She put on her glasses. And she turned it this way and that way. And then she took her scissors and went snip, snip, snip. And her needle went in and out and in and out. And she sewed Joseph the most beautiful little vest out of his coat. It was really perfect. It fit him beautifully and it was still his blankie in disguise. So he could still rub it when he needed to feel brave and strong. And he was just going into kindergarten, so when, when the other kids were mean or when he just needed to think a little bit harder, he'd just rub the corner of his vest and think good thoughts, and he did very well. He loved his vest, but you know what? That's the thing about being in school. Think, you know, you go out and play with it, and, and you're growing so fast. And then one day his mother took a look at him, and she said, oh, Joseph, Joseph. She says, that vest is too small. We're going to have to throw it out. <gasps> throw out my vest. We can't do that. Grandma can fix it. So he took his vest and ran down the street to Grandma's house and gave it to Grandma. Grandma, can you fix my vest? Hmm, said Grandma. And she put her glasses on. And she turned it this way that way. Hmm. And then she took her scissors and went snip, snip, snip. And her needle went in and out and in and out. And she sewed Joseph a really beautiful little tie. Well, he loved the tie. It was just perfect. He wore it everywhere. And the nice thing about it, it was hung around his neck. So, you know, you could just rub it when you needed to. Or you could pull it off and put it in your pocket. Or, you know, whatever. But it was right there. And, and he also, because it was a tie, you could wear it for special occasions, like when you were going to Grandma's house for supper. And, but one day, her mother took a look at it. She said, oh, Joseph, Joseph, look at that. She says, that spot of soup, it's making it droop. It's 
Oh, Joseph, it's such a mess. It's time to throw it out. <gasps> we can't throw it out. No, not my tie. Grandma can fix it. So he took his tie, tie and ran out the street to Grandma's house. He says, Grandma, can you fix my tie? Mm, said Grandma. So she put her glasses on, and she turned it this way and that. And then she took her scissors and went snip, snip, snip. And her needle went in and out, and in and out. And she sewed Joseph a really nice handkerchief. Handkerchief was perfect. It went in Joseph's pocket. It was the right size to hold all of his rock collection when he needed to. And, I mean, you could wipe your nose on it, but, you know, whatever. And, and, and it was washable. But finally his mother took a look at it. She said, Joseph, you know what? You've worn out all the edges. There just isn't anything, anything left. You need to throw this up. Oh, my mother. Grandma can fix it. So we ran out down the street to Grandma's house and he says, Grandma, can you fix my handkerchief? Hmm, said Grandma, a challenge. And she put on her glasses. Hmm, she said. And then she took her scissors and went snip, snip, snip. And her needle went in and out and in and out. And she sewed Joseph a really nice covered button. And then she took it and she sewed it on his over. So that when he put on his overalls, one strap went down here and the other strap attached to his button. And it was just right because, you know, he could rub it when he needed it. And it was inconspicuous the rest of the time. And he liked that because, you know, when you were thinking and you really needed to think, you could just rub it and it would give you the things you needed to remember. But then one day morning he got up and he went to put his overalls on. He put this strap on. And he put this stamp on it. His button was gone. His button was gone. And he went to his mom, Mom, have you seen my button? My button's lost. Oh, Joseph, I haven't seen it. And I'll look around, but I, I'm afraid it's just gone. When when it's gone, there's nothing. But no, no, Grandma can fix it. And he ran down to Grandma's house. He said, Grandma, my button is lost. Can you fix it? And she says, Joseph, I really, I can't make something out of nothing. <sighs> So she sewed a different button on his pants, but it wasn't the same. But he went off to school that morning, and his teacher gave the class an assignment. She says, I want you to write something, or something of your choice. And Joseph sat down and he started to think. And he remembered how when he was a baby, he had a blankie, and then his grandmother had made it into a beautiful coat, and then she made it into a vest, and then into a tie and a handkerchief and then a button and how all of those things had been really good for helping him remember things and to feel safe and comfortable and now that the button was lost he says i don't have nothing i can make something out of nothing i can make a really great story that's all he did